introduction, I would like to welcome Pretty Man, who is the founder, owner, and a very inspiring lady of the Strunky Software, sitting with us to chit chat and share her journey. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, Samari. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's been, I've known you for a while. It's a pleasure to sit across and to chit chat and to learn and get inspired from you. Come tell us, when did, when did your journey with Pranati Software start? It started in the year 1990. Wow, so that's been a while now. <laughs> right. uh, 1990 was the year when globalization actually started in the country. Yes. Uh, we used to get salaries of 2,300 or something in a month. And we thought, okay, it's a better idea to be an entrepreneur. So the journey started in 1990. Wow, the journey started way long back. And how has it been to be a woman entrepreneur? Because in, back in those days, it, was, it wasn't a very easy thing, I'm sure, to start a journey of you know, being a woman, being a lady. So how, how was your journey? Yes, it was a challenge. I remember when I started the business, the business is co-founded by, by my husband and me. Uh, even my employee was a little bit cynical, like, okay, this lady is joined. <laughs> and really, I don't know, she's going to work or she's just, you know, just the wife. So I think when you run a business along with your husband, the first thing even your employee would think was that you are not here for keeps. We are just here for time pass. It's like a madam G visiting the office. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so there were a lot of biases from the employee. There were a lot of biases from the customer. Uh -huh. Because I am not an IT person. I bring on the table no IT skills. And uh -huh. I am an IT company. I bring on the table only skills like marketing, the selling, entrepreneurship, networking, relationships. Those are my skills. And the customer was like, he a little woman. So I was thinner, I was smaller and uh, you know, uh, oh, what is she going to, to yeah. pretty, madam, so what is she going to do, uh, you know, kya <laughs> what is she going to really do, and so there are a lot of biases, there were biases at home, mother-in-law was like, abhi, pata nahi kya hoga, you know, with, the God, no, with, yeah. hope with all the relationships, I'm sure ladies listening to this would be smiling on the other side, relating your journey somewhere with uh, Pritiji and saying ki, yeah, yeah, I also can connect and even I have a story there. So, yes, it's like it sounds so us that when you speak, that when a lady walks in, you know, people, especially in the so called men's world, people take a step back and say, a lady? But here we have a successful lady. How many years have you been doing? 27 years. Wow. You heard it right. It's mm -hmm. 27 years. Yes. Wow. So tell us what has inspired you, what is what is there? I mean I'm sure you are bubbling with stories and facts to share with our upcoming women entrepreneurs. So please tell us. Uh, so what uh, when I was young and I was in school, I found that in my community I would say the balance between men and women was uh, not equal. Mm -hmm. So the woman always had a back seat and uh, she was probably at the Back and call of the male members in the family. And I somehow, when I was young, I decided, well, this is not my way of doing things. And I just, I, I realized very early that one of the most important equalizers in any man woman relationship at that time was the ability to be able to stand on your two feet and the ability to be able to earn and have your own space in the sun. Absolutely. So, so that's what has inspired me all the time. I never wanted to take any money from a male figure with her or from anybody. I wanted to be independent myself. I wanted to create a name for myself. I didn't want to be known as so and so's daughter or so and so's wife. Yes. Or, I wanted you them to be known identity as identity yeah, was yeah, important absolutely. for pretty. And that uh, works a lot even till today. So that's my motivation. You know? Motivation is to be somebody who is known to be good for what they work. Very true. Did you all listen to her carefully? She said she didn't bring in IT skills, but yet she's been successful for the past 27 years, driving her own thing. What truly motivated her was the skill that she came along with. She did not hesitate. She was confident and she was out there to conquer the world. Moving on to hear more stories and journey. Tell us. So, uh, what were what was the little major challenge that you faced? And then you said, yes, now I'm here to stay and 
this is my journey. Like, yes, my identity has finally been realized. You asked such good questions, Arun. You <laughs> think a lot. Uh, my biggest challenge has been when I have come back from a break to my business. Okay. Those, that is the biggest challenge. Yes. I took, I think, three breaks in my uh, 27 years uh, journey wow. with uh, Pragati. The first break I took was when my daughter was three years old. Mm -hmm. I did take a break when I was pregnant incidentally. So I got okay. called by Jerry. I remember my admin boy Mohan came home to even sign the vouchers when, you know, I'm just going before the delivery. So I didn't really take a break when my daughter was born. But I took a break subsequently because I didn't have anybody to take care of my daughter at that point of time. She was three. So I took, a year, yeah, I took a break of a year that time. I took a break later on when I did my global MBA. So somewhere in 2007, I got awarded as a woman entrepreneur by Fiki Flow, okay. as well as uh, various other chambers of commerce across the world. Congratulations. And thank you so much. And as part of that award, I got a fellowship to do a global MBA with ESA in Barcelona. Wow. So for 18 months, I was out of the business. Okay, I'm, I'm quite a bit <laughs> goosebumps. Like, wow. <laughs> So that was another break uh, which I took. So when I came back, my daughter was in the 8th standard and she was like, no, you better be at home with me. So 9th and 10th, I was uh, with her. Uh, and subsequently, my father, uh, who was 18 years old that time, had totally lost his memory and had dementia. So I had to hand up and take over his estate, look after his business. So this third break which I took, which That's kind of fun. matched with second and third, was for at least a long period of six to seven years. Wow, six to seven years and she's made a comeback. Yeah, and I'm so Not glad, I'm so thankful to all my customers, to all my employees, to all my vendors who took me back with open arms. So the challenge when I came back after seven years, six to seven years of not being coming to Pragati was it is my company and still I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know the customer, I don't know the technology, I don't know the employee because they have changed. I only know some of the older people and I only know the confidence that oh I can do it. So company oh, I was in it. losses uh, for 2-3 years okay. before I came. So we had two, uh, uh, two people in the company, uh, my husband and myself. Okay. You know when I was younger and Chaitali was with me, I used to tell people Customer badal jayega, hum log dono nahi badal jayega. and myself, I, I don't know if she remembers that. And uh, later on that sentence also came under test when I didn't come. So it was Pratyam who handled it for uh, those times when I took a break. So I think the bigger learning is your that whenever you run a business, have a backup. Because life will throw whatever it throws. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. So I was very lucky and very blessed that he handled it so well in my absence. So that when I could come and uh, Taking back. it over from you, yeah. it was there ready. It was there ready and with few uh, changes or with few uh, things I could really bounce back. So Wonderful it's been talking to her and learning her journey. But unfortunately time is running out for all of us and we are still coming to the end of this wonderful, motivating, interesting discussion. But before we go on, we will leave you with one tip trick from Preeti So Please tell us what is that one thing that you want to tell all the budding ladies who have taken breaks are hesitant to come back and uh, how, how can they make it to their journey? I think the one tip which is most important is to be very consistent in what you do. From, from what I, uh, the mistake I made was I was sort of just not connected with my company. You know my staff used to tell me no you must, you must come at least and sit. So I think the one tip is if you are passionate about something, don't ever leave it. Even if you put in maybe one hour every day, that's good enough. Yeah. You know, so remain connected in whatever way you can. Absolutely. You know, and just remain connected because there's a lot of passive learning which happens even when you're connected for an hour or maybe an hour and a half. So women who are on a break, remain connected to your career or to your uh, skill or to the things which interest you. Remain connected, even for just one hour. Absolutely. You know, we spend two hours, three hours, four hours on WhatsApp and Facebook and this and that, which is okay. So true. That doesn't really add as much value to us 
as much as remaining connected to our skin or whatever is our source, whatever it might be. I'm sure. Yes. And if our sources, our family remain connected to that, if our sources, our business remain connected to that, if our sources, entrepreneurship and networking like it is for Chaitali, remain connected to that, you know, even for an hour, just for an hour in a day. In all the trying times, just remain connected for an hour. That's good. So true and such a powerful message. Consistent uh, is the key to success. So the next time you are thinking of being successful, stay, uh, stay consistent and stay positive. You will also be here on the hot seat with me soon, maybe for the next year with the V Awards uh, coming up. So till then, stay tuned and don't forget to come on the 10th of March for the V Awards at the Taste of Punjab. We will all be there to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi everyone, I am Chaitali Chatterjee, founder of We Women Entrepreneurs and Clip. I would like to thank Preeti Ma, Preeti Sharma Ma, who, from whom I have been inspired. I, she is my inspiration because last 10 years back I was working with her in Pragati Software and I have learned lots and lots from her. And thank you, she has been supporting Women Entrepreneurs and Clip since last one year. We are completing one year on 10th of March. And since last one year, she has been supporting in every event. It's just not for one year award, but she has been uh, supporting for each and every event. Thank you so much, Preeti Ma'am and Pragati Software. And looking forward, each of you, on 10th of March for V Awards. Stay tuned. Uh, we are uh, coming up with more and more women entrepreneurs for various uh, sessions. So we all will be looking forward to you. Thank you.